Hi, welcome to the Preform Line Products training video for the Coyote Dome Closure. The Coyote Dome Closure is specifically designed for applications where a dome style configuration is preferred. It boasts several unique features that are designed to meet the uncompromising demands of today's ever-evolving communications networks. The Coyote Dome Closure is available in three sizes. The 6.5 by 17 inch, the 6.5 by 22 inch, and the 9.5 by 28 inch. Each satisfies a variety of fiber optic distribution network requirements, including fiber to the premise, or FTTP applications. Keep an open mind. The Coyote Dome closures can be used on your copper plant as well. Before I begin, I want to point out a few features that are unique to the Coyote Dome closure. First, two words, simplicity and flexibility. The Coyote Dome closure was built from the ground up using the same craft-friendly, simple fiber management system that put the Coyote name on the map. When you open the carton, you'll notice there are very few loose piece parts. The end plate and fiber organizer are fully assembled, simplifying the steps to reduce the time required for your installation. What makes the Coyote Dome closure unique in the industry is the segmented end plate design. The patented design allows true independent access to each cable without affecting the surrounding cables and each end plate cap is re-enterable and reusable. Each Coyote Dome closure end plate accepts PLP's exclusive silicone grommet sealing system. It can seal cables up to 1.25 inches in diameter. Single and multi-hole grommet designs and PLP's patented segment end plate design provide the ultimate level of flexibility needed to support today's demanding fiber optic network designs. The Coyote Dome closure meets the demanding requirements of GR771 for all aerial, buried, and underground applications. All PLP closures are manufactured in the USA following ISO procedures to assure quality, and they are backed by the experience and field support that PLP has been noted for since 1947. Before we begin today, I would like to show you the components included in the kit. The dome, end plate organizer assembly, dome clamp, dome gasket, grommets, cable measure tape, lubricant pack, small parts bag, and the application procedure. Splice tray options for the Coyote 6.5 by 17 inch dome closure, low profile tray, the standard tray, and the light grip tray the Coyote 6.5 by 22 and 9.5 by 28 inch dome closures, low profile tray, standard tray, light grip tray, and the universal tray. Now I'd like to run through a list of the tools you'll need to complete the installation. Pliers, 3 8 and 7 16 can wrench or socket, snips, and a knife. An optional accessory that can simplify the assembly process is the dome end plate assembly fixture. The fixture helps keep the end plate organizer assembly stable during the assembly process. Consult the application procedure provided with your closure for the specific cable openings. Measure and mark the cable for the required dimensions. Open and prepare your cable per standard company practice. When opening your cables, be sure to leave about 12 inches of strength member or Kevlar to be trimmed later. If your application uses shielded cable, install the shield connector at this point following your standard company practice. The best location for the primary cables to enter the end plate is near the bottom. For the 6.5 inch Coyote Dome closure, the best locations are ports 3 and 4. For the 9.5 inch Coyote Dome closure, the best locations are ports 3, 4, 5, and 6. These locations allow for a clean transition of the fiber into the buffer tube organizer or the organizer for ribbon applications. Place a mark on the cable port selected. Remove the end cap over the selected port. Score the edges of the tabs with a knife and break each tab out with your pliers. 
Scoring the edges of the tab several times will allow them to break out easier. This process can either be done with the end plate removed from the organizer or when the end plate organizer assembly is installed in the end plate fixture. Position the end plate organizer assembly next to the cable. Place the cable in the selected opening. Line the cable opening up with the center hole in the cable restraint bracket. Place a mark on the strength member just short of the end of the strength member cap. Make two marks on the cable aligned with the inside edges of the end plate. Cut the strength member. This determines the placement of the grommet. Using the cable measure tape provided, measure the cable to determine the diameter and location to use in the grommet. The range of cable diameters each grommet can accept is displayed on the face of the grommet and on the label of the grommet kit. Insert the grommet onto the cable, slide it over the area previously marked, and lubricate the exterior surface of the grommet. Insert the plugs provided into any unused holes. If your application requires express or balloon cables, lay the grommet on a flat surface. Use a utility knife to cut through the grommet. Slit the grommet on an angle so the slit does not enter the hole in the grommet at a 90 degree angle. If your application requires the use of figure eight style cable or cable with a toner wire, the messenger or toner wire must be removed in the area where the grommet will be installed. Remove any material burrs that could affect the grommet seal prior to inserting the cable into the grommet. Place the grommet onto the cable. Insert plugs into any unused holes. Apply silicone lubricant to the exterior surface of the grommet. If you are using a two-hole wide-range grommet, orient the grommet so the grommet arrows are pointing downward toward the bottom of the port. Only this grommet requires this orientation. Place the grommet onto the end plate and slide the cable inward until the strength member slides under the strength member cap. Tighten the strength member cap. Repeat this process for the remaining cable entries. Install end plate cap and tighten bolts evenly until the cap is fully seated. To verify the end plate is fully seated, visually inspect the sealing surfaces. Secure the cables to the strength member bracket with hose clamps provided. Repeat for all cables.